Good morning, fifth grade from Snippy. I forgot to make this video yesterday, so I'm going to catch up now. Um, anyways, my friends were doing work yesterday. You did a great job. I saw some amazing op art. I'll be sharing some of that. Um, when I say op art, it's an optical illusion. This is one of the pieces over here that we're going to be looking at. This is always backwards to me. Uh, by Victor Vassarelli. He's an op artist. It's um, a sphere and it's coming out from the page. It's an optical illusion, but obviously it's very flat. The one in the center we've seen before, this is M.C. Escher. We've talked about this in third grade. Um, and then the one over here as well is a, another piece of op art. Op art is an illusion. Uh, if you go back to the early um, artwork um, done by the early uh, artist, they used illusion as well to create space. Um, this is the dome here. Um, but what we're doing is we're trying to create a space um, that's not really there. And we're doing that with line. The most important line is the diagonal line. Diagonal line gives you space. It gives you distance. But a curved line will do something very much very similar. That's what's happening on the dome. Um, and everything is coming out... Um, projecting out from the surface of the paper which gives you that illusion. I don't know if you've ever seen any of the chalk drawings uh, that are, uh, have illusion to them. Um, very similar type of work where it looks like it's going in to something else or out of something else, giving you some space. I want you guys to have some fun with this. There's several videos you can watch. Those of you that have not completed your color um, assessment, please make sure you do that. Some of you did not submit your work last week far as for your 25 points and did not do your evaluation. Again, that's something else I want you to prioritize. Go to your to-do list. Make sure those things are done. I'm starting this new lesson with a little bit of reluctance because I have so many being behind. I want you guys to be able to catch up. I gave you last week to catch up. Uh, most of the assignments, if I believe all the assignments are still open, available to you. Just get those turned in. Excuse me, my alarm's going off. Um, I want you to get those turned in and um, be ready to go, okay? Um, I would have liked to have those already turned in, but, you know, circumstance. Anyways, you guys have a great day. Sorry about the uh, glare on my glasses. It's driving me nuts. I feel like a, a zombie here. Maybe it's because it's so early in the morning. You guys have a great day, okay? Um, make sure you watch this. You know, the reason I create them is to kind of help guide you. Um, I'm talking probably too much. But anyways, read the, um, the background on Victor Rassarelli about the op art, about who he is, about his importance are, his important in the op movement. Um, kind of gives you an idea what op art is. Uh, again, it's an optical illusion. We've looked at this in the, in the form of uh, M.C. Escher. Last year we talked about metamorphosis. Um, I think this will all make a connection. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I always love doing op art. Um, you guys have a great day.